say, here we go. And then we'll click start. And they can start hitting as soon as that light goes red. So she's getting a little bit of that head below the horizon. So this was from 1796, and it's an excerpt that is describing Malday debarkment syndrome. It's been around for a very long time. The only thing that could make that worse would be if it was like more multicolor, red, orange, green, blue. But then there's also sounds, which you couldn't hear it very well. There's sounds of rainforest. And by doing that match, it's gonna make them feel a little bit better. They, it's not necessarily good for them. They just feel a little bit better doing it. And then this part is for balance. These are the nerves that run up towards the brain stem. The vertical canals the one that is on the anterior side on the left coordinates with the one that's the posterior on the right, okay? And vice versa, I'm on the 45 and still in this motion. And now I really have the ability to move fast. <laughs> yeah, a little bit faster, yes? If I look, put the eyes to the right, now the component is more rotation. Oh, so head's left now. And now which way is that nystagmus? And we don't know if it's from accumulating too much fluid or not getting rid of the fluid fast enough. But nonetheless, a plumbing problem in the inner. And literally walked his feet right up my wall. And I'm behind him trying to hold him up as much as possible, keeping him from flipping off. And then once things settled, he had an awareness that his feet were on the wall. Now remember, he couldn't see because I had the goggles on him. He moving her real rapidly to head up on the opposite side. It's not normal to have motion sensitivity. The human system is capable of movement without getting sick from it. The after the run, it will be one minute of rest, which a timer pops up, and you, they let them rest for one minute, let things settle. I want you active, but calm. So I remind them, if you feel yourself tensing up while you're in the gyro stem doing the run, see, I want a little bit of a cognitive. They have to remember to press the button and hold it, get that target, let it go, press it again. Targets are in the same spot, you're in the same spot, that means no motion. As a patient, one thing that I would like to say to practitioners that are gonna be working with MDDS patients is, um, first of all, I think the fact that anybody who's working on getting trained and furthering knowledge and you know that type of thing, clearly you're devoted. Um, that gives us confidence and hope and, um, and, and just, you know, like, hey, there's someone here to help me out.